Hey guys, this is Danielle and today I have a brand new and ultra, ultra exciting video for you. This is probably the most excited I've been to film a video in a very long time. <laughs> um, also, like, hands down to the fact that we're in the house now. Um, I haven't actually finished filming the moving vlog. Um, we had a bit of a hiccup uh, along the way. Anyway, I'll discuss that in my video. I promise that'll be up soon, um, but we are in. We've been in for about two months. Um, so yes, I'm gonna get into this video. Stop rambling. I cannot wait to unbox these items for you and try them on and tell you everything. So yes, I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we better get into this video. Okay, so, <laughs> obviously you, you already know what this video is, you've read the title. Um, we have the Mugle uh, H&M haul. I, this collection dropped yesterday, um, on the 11th of May. I was ready, I was ready for it. Um, was still, I'm still so shocked that I managed to get everything and more that I wanted. Um, I wanted two main pieces, um, ended up buying a bit more, um, to try on and it just, yeah, it is such an iconic collection. Uh, I can't wait to show you and unbox these things. Um, but yeah, I paid for next day delivery. I spent a lot of money and I still had to pay for next day delivery. Um, but we have the box, it got delivered earlier. I've been to work, I've come back. Yes, let's open this baby. So I'm gonna try and do this in a way that's not gonna show you my address because my address is literally right on the top of the box here and you're gonna see it. So, scissors. Part of me did think that this might have been packaged in a like Moogle H&M box, but on the outside, it's not. Oh, holy lord, I can't even. There we go, right. Right, I'm gonna open this like this. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Right, so here we go. That is what you get inside the box. Let's dump that down there. Dump those down there. Right, so we have the Mugle blue tissue paper on the inside. Um, and I think all items are individually packaged. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. So this is just coming like normal H&M um, packaging, as far as I can tell. So we have one item, we have two items, <laughs> three, four, and five. Right. That's everything that's in the box. We have five items. Um, I was originally, I'll move these first, these are flowers. Okay, so was originally planning on getting two pieces, which I managed to get. Um, and then whilst I was checking out, um, I had like a niggle in the back of my head and I was like, I really want these pieces. Um, I'm gonna buy them, try them on. If they don't suit me, they don't fit, I can send them back. Um, yeah, so I've got a few pieces. Uh, there's actually one piece which I <laughs> didn't buy, didn't want to buy really, um, and then I have seen it on people since um, and I really want it and it's sold out so hence why I just bought everything that I thought I wanted at the time because um, I thought I can always send it back if it doesn't suit me I don't want it so yeah we'll get on to the pieces uh, that I really wanted first I think <laughs> okay so this top one I'm sorry about the rustling we have I think you can probably tell Maybe not though. <laughs> what this is, right, I'm gonna open it. This is the crochet, crochet? The lace corset blazer. I'm just gonna open this. So, Mugle tissue paper, very nice. But we have this absolute 
diamond of a piece. This, I seen it and I was instantly like, if I'm gonna get one thing out of this collection, it's gonna be this blazer. Um, this actually retails on Mugle. It is slightly different, slightly different. Um, but it retails on Mugle for 1,850, I think. It's like around 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. Um, so yeah, quite a lot. This was 199 pounds. I'll put the, like, I'll put the screenshot of the item here so you can see. Um, but yeah, it is just this iconic structured black blazer, nice, strong shoulder pads. The quality feels really good, um, as I'm feeling it. Um, and then it comes down and then we've got this lace corset detailing, which is absolutely incredible. So they're all like hook and eye, um, down here, down in the center. And then the tag is a Mugle H&M tag at the back. Uh, I don't know whether this is what it's meant to look like. Uh, if it is, then great, happy. If it's not, then I'm sad. <laughs> First of all, absolutely love it. Second of all, a slight bit too tight. Uh, third of all, it makes my boobs look great. <laughs> um, we're just gonna lose weight, you know? <laughs> if this is not what it's meant to look like, if it, this is what it's meant, if it's meant to come, so you, you'll see what I mean there. If it's meant to do that, then we are absolutely fab. This fits amazingly. As I said, maybe a little bit too tight, but fits great. Obviously this bottom bit here needs to be released. Um, absolutely love it. We'll wear this all day, every day. Never ever take it off. But if it's meant to be, if this bit's meant to cover the bottom of my boobs, then I'm not actually sure because that's literally just the height of my shoulders to the bottoms of my boobs. <laughs> so I don't think there's too much I can actually do about that. However, this is like giving me waist and a half so yeah i think i like i think i just don't know whether this is what it's meant to fit like or not i might have to research but i think we're just keeping anyway because i mean this is the piece i really wanted and yeah okay so she's back she's back she's done research um it turns out that that was not how like men how you were meant to have the blazer. I think my shoulders to my boobs are just quite a long part of my body. I think it's always been that way, but I've tried it on with the this black top um, and just left it open. And I think even left open, it looks incredible just because of the way that it's structured. It looks amazing. Um, and then if we're gonna do it up, I mean, you can see what I, <laughs> what I meant when I said it's a bit tight. Also got a bra on now as well, which probably won't help too much, but if I do this up, and I mean to be honest, you want this piece to be tight because otherwise there's no point in having the corset. So yeah, so basically that is the way it looks. The mesh is still a little bit, I mean, I've got a bra on now, so it's not as like visible, but that is it. I just think that like the way that this makes your waist look, uh, and this is even just with a black top on. So like this, a black top and like a pair of black jeans, like what an outfit that will be. Uh, I'll just come and show you a bit closer. Like, I just think this is incredible. I mean, I'm keeping it, as I said, I'm keeping it whether it fits or not. Um, this is the piece I really wanted and it's the piece that we're gonna keep. I hope I was in focus that whole time because you, my phone's there. So I was basically taking a photo and trying on this to make sure that it kind of fitted the way that I wanted it to. Um, yeah, I like it. I think it's a good piece. Um, and then it comes with, uh, I guess some extra little hook and eye uh, buttons there. Um, yeah, I just think this is iconic. This is amazing. Um, I've got this in a size eight. I hope to God it fits. Um, as part of the drop, you only got one piece of, like one piece of each thing. Um, you couldn't order multiples. So I've gone for a size eight. 
hoping to god it's gonna fit because i'm not gonna be able to get my hands on a bigger one so i'm just gonna have to lose weight if it doesn't fit <laughs> oh, i love it right i'm gonna try it on anyway you'll see what it looks like in the try on yeah you've already seen what it looks like i hope it fits <laughs> So the next piece, the next piece again is the, it's probably the hottest piece of this collection and it's because every single brand has done a dupe of, the, of this, even probably H&M at some point, because uh, this has been an iconic pop, uh, especially in the recent times. Um, this is of course the spiral bodysuit um, and I kid you not, like, Okay, it's got a Mugler H&M tag on the inside, but like on the outside, it, it's literally just Mugler. So you cannot, apart from the fact that the designs are very slightly different, um, you can't tell. This also feels so thick. Um, so th I don't have any of the originals, so I can't compare them, but this feels incredible. Okay, so we have the bodysuit. Uh, this was an effort to get on, on my own. Um, it fits. Quite nicely it's a little tight on my arms this is what I was kind of worried about when it came to this bodysuit um, it's also very long don't know if you can see this extremely long don't know if the other bodysuits are like that um, but I've got them on with the trousers and I think this is an iconic outfit especially with some heels I'm going out tomorrow night and I think this might be what I wear <laughs> because I love it um, so yeah we've got the yeah, it's just an iconic bodysuit. As I said, it is quite difficult to get on on your own, um, just in terms of, because the zip goes all the way up. Um, but yeah, this is the bodysuit. You can see kind of the paneling details along here. I don't have a bra on with this, um, and I love it. I think it's really nice, really cute. Love, love, love. This is up closer for you, so you can see the Mugler there. Got the cutout for this. <laughs> the trousers right there um, and then yeah if you wanted to wear this without this is an extremely high cut bodysuit so it cuts there um, which is really good um, and then yeah you've got these bits going all the way down in here yes love it and then at the back it's just kind of all black apart from these bits here so yeah love it love it love it keeping this as well um, yeah it's just the spiral bodysuit this is in the black um, you could get different colours of these, um, and this, I believe, I don't know if it's going to tell me on the thing, I think this was like, I think this was like £70 or £80, I will again leave the link here so you can see, um, but yeah, I also got this in a size 8, so I hope this fits, um, but yeah, it's got a zip down the back with the star, um, which is very iconic Mugler, <sighs> yes. Again, we'll try this on, see how it looks, but I'm excited. I hope it fits. <laughs> the next piece, we have another spiral piece, which um, I kind of, right, so when this lookbook dropped, I was looking and this caught my eye, um, but the way that the model had it styled, um, it put me off. And then I scrolled some more and was looking and I was like, I really want that. <laughs> Um, so it is the blue spiral uh, dress. So it's the dress. I didn't want the original mesh dress because I wasn't really too comfortable with that much mesh. But this is black, blue, and then they've got burgundy panels down there. Again, it feels amazing quality. It's like a lycra. It's got the mugle on the shoulder. Um, okay, so next thing, this dress. I'm a bit undecided, to be honest. I'm going to sneeze. It fits really nicely, it's a really nice material, really nice length actually, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of going to like an 80s disco, if that makes any sense, but it's really nice, it's really flattering. Um, I think all the, the spiral detail is mega flattering, so again we've got this and then got the Mugler at the top. Let me know what you guys think. I think that might be the best option. Like I like it and I think it's flattering. I just don't know if it's something that I would wear. You know what I mean? No, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and again, I think this was about the same price as the bodysuit. Um, and then it's got the zip down the back with the little star on it. Um, yeah, I bought this in a size 10. So yeah. 
I don't really know where I'm, like I was in a panic in a rush trying to buy these things I bought this in size 10 I was thinking because my bottom half is a 10 my top half is usually an 8 so I thought I'll go for the 10 and hope it fits um, but yeah very iconic different colorway I don't think I've seen this colorway um, in Mugler but maybe I might be wrong might be wrong but I love it already and it feels good quality so we'll go for this and then we'll go for the last item um, these are not so much of, so I think all of the items apart from this one are kind of iconic Mugler. When you think of Mugler the brand, you think of those pieces. Um, these not so much. These I just seen and really liked. So again, we've got more tissue paper. Right, and these are the 100% wool cutout trousers. So they looked really cool on the model. So they're just literally a pair of plain black trousers, really quite baggy. Um, they've got kind of this slanted, I don't even know if you can really see that kind of zip. And then they've got this, not that bit, <laughs> where is it? There, they've got this cutout detail here, which I thought was quite cool. Um, I just liked the fact that these kind of just look like normal trousers, but they were really baggy and they looked cool i think these were 80 pounds which i mean for a good pair of quality decent tailor trousers is a good deal right so don't even know if you can see me or hear me these are the wool trousers absolutely love these they fit really nicely excuse me i've just got a vest top pulled up at the moment but these are really really nice they're nice and big and baggy they are slightly long for me i'm really tall as well i'm five foot seven um so these are going to be quite long on someone shorter than me um i like the detailing here i'll come closer so you can see and then we've got the cutout which you can see my pants at the moment um so yeah i would imagine you need to wear like a g-string or something for these but love 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 these I feel like they're really flattering and yes i'm going to try them on with the bodysuit um because that's what i think will look Good. They are a little itchy, I will say. Um, but yeah, I'll come and show you the right. So this is kind of up close. So you can see what I mean when I say you can see my pants <laughs> and my tattoo. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like. I really, really like them. I love this bit here. I think this is really, really nice and flattering. Nice high waist, which I love. Um, and then this little bit comes back. I guess you can tuck it all the way around back if you want. Um, but yeah. Really, really love these. I think these were a great buy. Yes, we'll be keeping these. Um, again, so it's not kind of like standout Mugler, but I just really like these trousers and I thought they would look really nice with the bodysuit. I'll try them on, see how they go. Um, and again, I got these in a size 10. Um, so yeah, I hope these fit as well. I hope everything fits because I don't want to send any of this back really. And then lastly, I wasn't gonna buy these. Wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, but it's Mugale. And I'm really not a great person when it comes to buying jeans. You obviously know what they are. Um, um, so these, of course, are the iconic uh, swirl jeans swirl jeans god i've lost my spiral spiral jeans um yeah pretty standard every single person knows what these look like um they have just the Mugler badge on the back which i think is really cool i was expecting h&m to be put into there but it's literally not um yeah so these are the light blue denim with the black uh spiral and these um, again, I bought in a size 10. I'm really, really bad with sizing jeans. Um, so these are li these are really going to be a hit or miss as to whether they fit. I don't know if they will, actually, looking at them. I don't know if they will. Um, but yeah, these were 120, so more expensive um, than kind of the other, like, iconic, apart from, like, the blazer and stuff. Uh, yeah, these are a little bit more expensive. But uh, I just, I couldn't not, I couldn't not have it. Uh, Mugler pieces and not at least try these. 
So yeah, these I hope are gonna look good and fit, but um, holding my breath. And maybe literally here. <laughs> right, so unfortunately it's a no for the jeans. They don't fit, they don't fit over my calves. Um, I don't feel like my legs are that big, um, but they don't fit. So uh, I might get a, I might give it another go before I send them back. Um, but yeah, or if there's any of you guys that really wanted these in size ten and couldn't get them, I will put them on my deep on my vintage for the same price if you want them. Um, yeah, they don't fit me. Sad, but also not that sad because these were kind of I didn't know whether they were going to suit me anyway. <laughs> So yes, that is everything that I picked up from the H&M Moogle Air drop collaboration. <sighs> Lots of money has been spent. Some might be going back. Some, I might get some money back, who knows? Um, we will see, you will see in the trial ones of whether these were a hit or a miss. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with everything so far. Obviously I haven't tried anything on, but the quality seems really good um, and uh, it's just iconic. It's an iconic collection and I cannot wait to wear some of the pieces. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed guys. Make sure to give this a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.